I'm not going any closer folks, no chance. Whoop! Shit. Me! Beep, 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 reverse! Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we are currently in Studland, which is a very small little place here on the south coast of England. Um, the Jurassic Coast, folks, we're in the Jurassic Coast. Lovely little pub here called the Banks Arms, there we go. Lovely little beer garden. Anyway, that's not why we're here. And for anyone from the UK, you might know Studland as a uh, nudist beach very famous for the nudist beach but fortunately folks or unfortunately for you guys <laughs> we're not here for that we're not here for that we are here for to see the beach there is a normal beach also but there's some rocks here called Harry's Rocks which is on a beautiful beautiful headland I <laughs> um, yeah some white rocked chalked cliffs beautiful beautiful formations so we're gonna head there bear with me one second South Beach, Old Harry's Rocks. There we go, look, Old Harry's Rocks. We're going in the right direction, folks. Anyways, look at this. Look at these beautiful little cottages to begin with. How traditional. Anyway, Old Harry's Rocks, one mile. No vehicular access. Anyways, folks, let's go. This was a last minute, again, off the cuff idea. I'm doing some voluntary work, just, um, I don't know, about half an hour away from here. So uh, while I'm here, I'm looking for things to do. Many things to do, folks. And I've done a fair bit of hiking along this coast, unfilmed, unfortunately. But um, I haven't been to this part. So um, just below us here is a little place called Swanage, which you can begin there if you like. You can begin the hike there and you could walk over to Harry's Rocks from there as well. But I'm doing it from Studland because a little short on time. Did a fair bit of work this morning for my voluntary stay so i'm a little bit tired folks <laughs> so i thought i'd opt for the easier one so from here we can walk to the rocks walk back and then go and check the beach out got a little squirrel on the path here folks let's see how friendly he is seems to be quite timid actually hello mate that is letting us get a pretty close folks squirrels don't usually get that close to us not to me anyway <laughs> Anyway, enough waffling now. Let's meander down here. Well, as we're walking along, I'm just thinking the Isle of Wight is just across the water here as well. So I'm hoping it's a nice day. We might get some views of the, uh, the white cliffs of the Isle of Wight as well in a distance. So yeah, this area on the Jurassic Coast, especially um, some stunning, stunning white rock um, cliff areas, you know. There's another place we're gonna go to called Lulworth Cove and uh, what's it called? <laughs> Durdle Door, that's the one, Durdle Door. All around the area I've been before, but we're definitely gonna go there and uh, film a little hike there while we're down here. So anyways. A little offshoot here. Let's go and have a look. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, it's very, very calm today, actually. Nice little boat down there. Ah, you can hear those waves below. Folks, you don't know what that sound does to me. I'm telling you, absolutely love it. Anyways, what a stunning day. So as you can see, it's starting to open up into a, a bit of a grassy knoll, <laughs> like a bit of a field here for walking alongside. So it's opening up here. Folks, I absolutely love these coastal walks in the UK. I seriously do. I think it's one of my favorite things to do here in the UK, you know? If you ever come here and you, uh, you're you just thinking about going to the main cities and, and things like that, well, have another think, folks. Check out some coastline, especially along the South Coast or the west coast of the UK, basically the whole of it, you're gonna find some spectacular, and the east, and the east, 
I've got to mention the east and the north, the whole bloody place to be honest with you, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, it's absolutely worth it if you um, you just want to see something different, if you're just, like I say, if you do just go to cities and towns and stuff. If you're near a coast, seriously, check out where you are, check out what the coastline looks like and go. Still going folks, still going. Just come into this little bit of treeland. Um, just wanted to point out as well, on the way here, there was a, a viewpoint. Um, I forget the name of it actually, I'll put it on the screen now. But this was the view of over Bournemouth and Poole. And uh, Harry's Rocks would just be to the right. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful little view spot. If you're uh, coming down here, it's well worth a stop in between Corfe Castle and, and Studland. So. You can't miss it folks, you'll you'll see it and you'll be like, quick, stop, camera, out. Anyways folks, we're not far now. Not far. I have mentioned this in other videos. Very unstable cliff edges here and pretty much all of it's unfenced. So, you know, just be very, very careful here. They are made of chalk basically, you know, very, very soft ground so but in the distance folks what i can see there can you see that that little white dot in the sea that is the isle of wight that is the isle of wight i'm just coming into the interview here now are some of the white rock formations that we're going to see here welcome to harry's rocks so i've just come off path a little bit because i've seen a little shoot offshoot onto this little thing. Like I say, you have to be very, very careful here, folks. Because I've seen what these cliffs can do, it just, it's made me realize how dangerous it is, you know, really, seriously. Check this out, man. So Stud Studland Beach, just over there. And these are the famous rocks here, these are Harry's rocks. Let's go and have a look a little bit further along, down there. Absolutely beautiful, man. And these white cliffs, they just continue all the way up. We're gonna do a little bit of that, we're gonna walk there a little bit, we've got some time. So anyway, folks, let's just go to the end, shall we? Let's go to the end. Let's not go any further folks anyways abide by the rules when it comes to these cliffs i'm telling you i ain't taking no risks here see if you've got another little offshoot up onto a little nib stunning views look at this the waves crashing underneath there man Oof. Beautiful, beautiful. And folks, to the right, just check this out, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at those rock formations in the distance. A spiky one there. <laughs> Got a little stony beach just down there. I mean, we're right on a, a little nib thing here, you know? Seriously, after seeing what what can happen to these cliffs, I just don't feel too safe by the edge anymore, you know? It's crazy. It used to be a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more daring, folks. Just coming into view there now as well, behind that rock there, you can see another little one. Welcome to the coastline of the UK. So as you can see, the path just leads up the side, you know, there's no, no fencing, like it says, it's just very, very exposed to what's below, you know. Keep on saying it, folks. Stay safe if you come to these coastlines in the UK.
every angle is a just like a new view look at that man my days folks my days i love it love it love it love it and they're definitely getting steeper now as you can see we're coming uphill here so the first ones we saw by harry's rocks and stuff pretty steep obviously but not as steep as it is here man and it keeps going up so I wanted, like I say, I wanted to start from uh, Swanage. So I would have been walking from there this way. If we'd have had time, folks. Another day, another day. But anyways, we're seeing the best part of it here anyway. I'm just kind of having to come back on myself a little bit in a minute. But I just want to get to the highest point up here. I think it'll be pretty much where that spiky rock was. And then we'll turn back, head to the beach. But what do you reckon, folks, so far? Beautiful, eh? Well, there's the old spiky rock down there. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the Twelve Apostles in Australia on the south coast. I think there's seven left now, but <laughs> that little one there reminds me of it. Anyway, folks, we're just going to continue a little bit further up. We're getting windier. We're getting windier. I think that's the highest peak right there from here that's how it looks anyway could be a false horizon <laughs> i don't think it's going to get any higher than that another five to ten minute walk up to there and then we turn back to the beach but let's go to the highest point first vamos Okay, folks, so it keeps going up and up. I'm not going to go any further this way because we're not getting much view, to be honest with you. It's a bit disappointing. I was expecting a little bit more than that, but lovely nonetheless. But what you have there, that's Swanage. That's Swanage there, and you have Peverell's Point, which looks like a beautiful little place also. Hopefully somewhere we'll get to visit as well at some point. But yes, there's Swanage. We're going to head back, folks. Like I say, that's a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to get some nice views, kind of looking back at Harry's Rocks from here. But unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Just come off the path a little bit because I've seen this beautiful little opening again. I can't resist a nice little opening, folks. I'm sure there's going to be some nice view from this little nib. Well, here we go. Say no more. You see how the rocks aren't quite as uh, as white here as what we've just seen? Oof. And just to the side of us here. I mean, look at that. I'm not going any closer, folks. No chance. Boop. Shit. Me. Beep, 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 beep. Reverse. One thing I love about the UK folks, especially in these little villages, there's always a public toilet. Because every time you go for a hike, guaranteed you need the slash toilet at the end. Anyway, let's go in. Camera down. And these ones are even open 24 hours, folks. Oh my days. The best toilets ever in the UK, potentially. Potentially. Anyway. We're going to have a look at the South Coast Beach, which is this way now, I believe, if you remember. We just came past here, we went that way. Let's go down and have a look at South Coast Beach. I'm not sure what to expect here, because the nicer part of the beach, I believe, is further north, up by where the nudist beach is, which is called Studland. But this is Studland also, but it's called the South Beach. Could be a bit more rugged by the looks of it but look at this man see why they call it the jurassic coast so here we go just to give you an idea we are here naturist area here i think this is the nicest stretch of beach here but 
I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Anyway, there's a nice little shack down here. I think there's a cafe, folks, a little cafe. Oh my days. Look at this little spot. Oh, well, we're not quite open yet. There was a woman chucking a load of water out, so potentially this place is open later. I didn't see a little sign. I'll try and find out what that place is. Anyway, look at this. Yeah, just as I thought, folks, a little bit more rugged. A little bit more rugged. We've got some little beach huts just there. A couple of people just going out in their little boat here. But yeah, like I say, the nicer part of the beach, the sandy bit, is over there. Which unfortunately, folks, we do not have time for today. I need to be back. But I will cheat and give you a little view of a Google image right now. Because uh, potentially we're not going to come back here while we're down here. Look at these dogs having a whale of a time. <laughs> Anyway, folks, let's finish the video here, shall we? Thank you for joining me on this unplanned little adventure. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did once again. Have you been here? Tell me your stories. Anyways, folks, until the next one, take care of yourselves. Have a little bit of fun, not too much. A little bit.